Yeah, it was exactly my message uh, post game. You know, was the you know it was a great comeback. You know, it was a little bit of frustration. I thought we played a really good hockey game over two periods, and obviously the power play I believe was 0 for 6 going into the third. And uh, as we know, our offense is, is based a lot on our power play so far this season, and um, and also Boyd and Bork being on the score sheet. So, um, you know, I thought we were playing very well, and then unfortunately the power play uh, was 0 for 6, and we couldn't get the crowd into it either with a power play goal. So that didn't help uh, matters either. But uh, and then the lucky. You know, let's face it, that they didn't have a, it was an unbelievable first goal uh, that they scored on their, or in their power play. So, um, but I really liked, obviously, the first shift. Uh, you know, Langer's line was good all night, and um, it was good to get some secondary scoring there. So, um, you know, once we got that lead 2 1, it felt real good about the game. And, um, you know, obviously, there was a breakdown on that faceoff, but overall, uh, I can't complain about uh, anybody tonight, to be honest with you. With these Wednesdays games, to be getting off to wins both these weeks, how important is that going into a longer, different? Yeah, uh, it's it's you know well, first of all we love the Wednesday games you know anytime you can avoid those three and threes that's what you want to do and um, you know it's uh, it's real good to get that first one other other way and it was the same as last week now you can just focus on two games on the weekend and um, you know you love to get six out of six but uh, realistically hopefully we can get at least four uh, going into a pretty tough building uh, and one of the best teams in the league this weekend so to get those two points especially this week uh, going into a, a double header in, in Providence is huge. Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, Langer's. Um, you know, obviously remembering him, you know, from his Worcester days. But you know, that is that's three years ago. Um, but he came in on a PTO and uh, you know, healthy scratch in the second week of the year. And uh, but he just, you know, he adds that speed. Uh, arguably, our best penalty killer overall. Um, so he's been a big part of that, and the penalty kill has been excellent so far this year. And, uh, you know, he's had plenty of opportunities. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that his numbers are a little bit lower based on the opportunities. Um, but, you know, even going into tonight, you know, I, I really liked him on the line with Gaisley and, and Barber in the last two weeks, and he fit nicely with Boyd and Borky. And, you know, I had Chris Bork coming to me and saying he loved playing with him, you know, obviously because of the speed factor and the able to, to create some turnovers. And, and then all of a sudden tonight, you know, in a good Gravovic in the lineup, and I, um, I, I left Gaisley with him because I do like him and Gaisley. And, and I thought, uh, you know, Tuna would be a real good fit there. And, you know, they were arguably our best line five on five. Um, so I, I guess it was nice to really see him get on in the score sheet tonight for sure. No, absolutely. I mean, he's a big body. Um, you know, I thought for his first game and the fact that he hasn't, you know, played a you know a game in four weeks and and minimal practice time. Obviously, the NHL schedule does not allow for a lot of practices. So I think yesterday was his third overall practice since you know since he played his last game. So uh, I thought he was fine. You know, I, I thought that line had some good ozone time and obviously a couple of big bodies there. And Barb's has got a tremendous work ethic as well. So um, I suspect he'll be even better on Friday. You know, it's it's good to get that first one of the out of the way and I know he's pretty excited about the schedule because uh, let's face it you know including tonight we've got pretty much an NHL schedule here over the next four games um, and he'll he'll be here for three and possibly four. Well, I think it's, you know, obviously province is a tough building, but in saying that, uh, you know, we're used to going into a, a building on a Friday and then trekking back home or, or to another building. So uh, we have a practice schedule at 1.30 in Providence on, on Saturday, and obviously with the 1 o'clock game, there'll be no morning skate. So, um, you know, it's I think it's an ideal schedule, and, you know, hopefully we can get in there and get at least a split, and I think it'll be a successful weekend, and somehow you get four there, it's going to be an unbelievable week. So, uh, but we'll worry about Friday and travel day tomorrow, have the morning skate. We're not going to practice tomorrow. We're just going to travel up there. Okay, thank you.